Hi Taurus, this is Eileen with your 2018 Psychic Tarot card reading. This is a, a an overview of the year for 2018 and what I'm doing is breaking it up into four quarters and I'm only using the Major Arcana because the Major Arcana these are your destiny cards. These are your um, important cards about uh, challenges and life lessons and choices, important choices you might need to make about your life. And so uh, we're going to just do it quarter by quarter. And so you'll have an overview of the year and uh, maybe challenges or opportunities or choices that you might be looking at uh, during 2018. And so for the first quarter, which is January, February, March, you have the chariot. And with the chariot, this is showing that you're taking control and moving forward in your life. And now I am tuning in on a psychic level also, so I'm not just reading the meanings of the cards. But as the meanings go, you have the skills and the abilities that you need to take control and to move ahead. For some of you, you might actually be making a physical move <laughs> in the first few months of the year also. So you, some of you might actually be relocating but or traveling. You might have some travel that you're doing. But it does represent um, success for you, uh, winning, uh, victory, um, challenges. It does uh, include challenges. It's not like everything just falls into your lap. So you have challenges you're facing starting out and going into these first few months of the year. Uh, you might be feeling like you're navigating a rocky road at times. But what I'm getting here is um, a, a steady process progress, that you have the skills and the abilities to navigate your way through and to be uh, successful, to get where you want to go. With some of you, I feel like this is in relationship matters, that you might have some ups and downs in your relationship that you're working on in these first few months of the year. And there may be some uncertainties and some back and forth in relationships for some of you, I'm feeling also, where you're on again, off again, you know, you're so you're not real sure. I feel like I'm tuning into someone who really is with their I feel like it's true love, but I feel like there have been these stressful things, maybe just some kind of disagreements or something here and there, or not uh, being on the same page with each other at different times. It could be, I, I don't know if one of the two of you travels in your work, or maybe you live a little distance from each other, or... I'm not sure. Maybe both of you have just been so busy in your schedules that you find it hard to get together and spend quality time together. But it feels like real love there. I'm feeling uh, um, plans to marry, to, you know, it just, it feels like it's a permanent situation, but there's bumps in the road <laughs> in the first few months. So I feel like even in these relationship matters that you have what it takes to, to do the balancing act, to navigate through this and to move forward. So you just have to stay focused. And for others of you, I feel like this is more in line with finances, with your job, your career. Um, some of you starting out the year may be wanting to change jobs or change careers even. Others of you might have a business that you're just starting or a business that you've had a while and you're trying to get it going better. It's like maybe it hasn't been as prosperous as you would like it to be. And so you're having to really get focused, stay focused, make a plan, try to stick to that plan and see what you can do better this year that maybe somehow you didn't manage to, that you may have felt felt like you fell short a little bit in 2017 and you want to get off on the right foot in 2018. And I feel like you really, for those of you that this is um, like a business area, whether you're 
searching for a new job, changing careers, or wanting to do better in an existing business, I feel like the more you just pinpoint the different areas that you need to focus on that you might need to get stronger in, give more attention to, it's almost like putting a little plan on paper for yourselves for some of you. That, that's come, It's like I'm getting a blueprint to success. Those words just came to me. So, um, but I mean, uh, it's to me, it's exciting. I, I feel a lot of... Um, enthusiasm. There's a potential for you to get real enthusiastic. I feel like you should because the more enthusiasm you have for something, the better you're going to do with it, the more you're going to focus on the details and really do a thorough job. So yeah, so there's challenges, there's obstacles, but you have what you need. You have the resources, the inner resources. You really just have to stay focused and move on, move ahead on that. Okay, and then now this is the second quarter of your year and this is the star card another this is a really good card the star card I don't know if you can see that very well okay now the star talks about healing both on a spiritual level and even on a physical level so second quarter we're talking about April May June if there had been problems with um, maybe finances or relationship matters where you've been hurt or um, uh, uh, setbacks financially even for some of you that may have had some kind of little illnesses or injuries you've suffered from or anything like that the star card is talking about healing healing on different levels and that the star is guiding you the star is guiding you to prosperity to happiness to love to fulfillment in your life um, and it's also a very spiritually oriented card as well so the star talks about your spirituality and growing in that area and it it just talks about um love harmonious relationships and i am feeling that there's someone i'm tuning into that um let me see here there's someone who's wanting i feel like you've been in a relationship you may this might be kind of a new relationship it's almost like you're either meeting someone around this time or maybe you had met them, but things really get ramped up and you really find that you're both really falling in love with each other. I'm feeling someone, there's going to be um, almost like somebody's going to look at you and it's going to be like love at first sight. That's what I'm getting for someone. This might be more than one someone. So um, I am feeling in general, there's a number of you that are going to benefit in your relationship area, whether meeting the right person during this time period and love. It's like the, your eyes are just going to be sparkling for each other. You know, it's, it's, I don't know. It just feels like love at first sight for some of you. So, uh, you know, there's some good things overall to look forward to. And I feel others of you are really working on your spirituality during this time of the year and growing on a spiritual level and pleased inside and feeling a sense of fulfillment inside of yourselves that you're growing into the person that you're meant to be, your natural self. And so, um, yeah, and the, and the star is lighting your way for just happiness in your life and prosperity and success. So great message there with the star. Okay, and then the next quarter, so we're talking about, what's this, June, July, oh, wait, we got Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June. Okay, this is July, August, September here. So you've got the hanging man. Now, for this third quarter with the hanging man, this is talking about feeling like some aspect of your life is up in the air during this time frame. So for some of you, I'm feeling, I'm feeling something about a physical move that some of you are waiting on, waiting to find out about, waiting for more information. So it could be some of you have made arrangements to move, but you're waiting. It's not time to move yet. Or some of you might be getting a new job where you need to move to another location. For some of you, this might be moving out of 
uh, away, moving out of state, moving to another um, city or state somewhere, or possibly, you know, maybe going from one country to another even. But I'm feeling some of you kind of, you're anticipating and waiting on some change that's taking place, some kind of a transition in your life. And it feels good. I, it doesn't have any kind of a negative feeling about it. It has a nice positive feeling, but kind of like you're open and receptive and just kind of waiting uh, for the next step to move on almost like you're in a little holding pattern but you're okay you're looking out ahead at um, moving along and just being open feeling positive feeling relaxed about it because you're it's kind of like you're having faith and then also um, for some of you I feel like you might be feeling like a lot of things like were left up in the air for you during this time and there might be some confusion with some of you in um, let's see here all right here what I'm getting for someone something in a relationship area this might be a number of people or just one I don't know who I'm tuning into here relationship wise where you're feeling that the person that you're have been with or thought you were going to be with almost like they're not there you know I'm wondering about somebody coming see I'm wondering if somebody's going to be waiting on someone who either lives in a different state or another country or something like that during this time and they're waiting on them and there's uncertainty about it there's uncertainty about whether or not this person's really coming and you're kind of feeling like everything's up in the air until this relationship comes together and the two of you are together. So it's, again, you're kind of in a bit of a holding pattern, but I don't get a lot of negative feelings with it. It's like you're waiting and you don't want to be disappointed and uh, hopefully everything is coming together. But in the meantime, you're just kind of biding your time. So, but a lot of times when we have these little periods where something in our lives is just up in the air and you're not moving in a particular direction at that moment and you're kind of in a holding pattern, it gives you an opportunity to look at your life in an objective manner and to make good decisions instead of hurrying into something. So if something seems to be on hold and there, there's uncertainty about the future of this particular event in your life, whether it's a relationship or something with a job or work situation, if nothing's definite yet and there's some and you're waiting on answers, you're waiting for that green light to move ahead, it's a good time if you don't know for sure if the light's going to turn green or not for you. Um, it's a good time to examine your life and to be objective about where you're going, where you've been, what you want for yourself, whether it's in uh, business, work, or relationship matters, and to make a good decision for yourself. Because possibly while you're waiting, if someone's keeping you waiting and you don't see a good reason for it, a really solid reason for it, you might start rethinking the situation and think, wait a minute, is this person just stringing me along or is this real? So it's a good time for some soul searching and uh, self-evaluation and objectivity about your life and making up your mind about just what you expect for your life and what you deserve to have rather than waiting on somebody else to decide for you what's good for you. So it's it's a good time. You know, you can't really say this is a bad, it's not a bad card. It's just a time that you're kind of, you know, in a holding pattern, but it's a good time to think clearly and objectively about your life. Okay, and then for the fourth quarter, we have the Magician. And the Magician's a really great card. The Magician is saying that you have all the resources inside of you that are necessary to have the life you want. So this is an excellent card. And this is the end of the year. We're talking about October, November, December. So what I'm getting for a number of you is that at the end of the year, you're going to be feeling with regard to money, your business, your work, your career, like, yeah, okay, I made some progress, but I've got so much more inside of me and I'm capable of so much more.
So I may have even missed some opportunities this year. I may have overlooked a few things I could have really capitalized on or really uh, turned in a better way for me. Even though it hasn't been a bad year, it's been good overall. Hey, I'm capable of doing so much better and having so much more. So I feel like a number of you are going to be in that position when we get to the fall of 2018. And you're going to be feeling like, um, you know, there was a promotion I want and someone else got it. Okay, I'm not letting that happen again. I'm going to make sure I go for what I want. And if my company, my existing company won't elevate my position, hey, maybe I'll move to a different company, uh, whatever. Maybe I'll start my own business. Whatever it is, I feel like a lot of you are just going to be in a mode of take charge of your life and create the life you want. And for others, it won't just be business. I feel like for some of you, you're going to be looking back at your personal lives over the course of the year and your love lives. And if you feel that somehow you missed out in that area because you were too busy maybe focusing on work and other things that were getting in the way that you may have missed out in your personal life. And I feel like a lot of you will be thinking, okay, I don't want to let that happen. I want to have someone who's really special for me and I want to have a good solid relationship. So I know I've got to find a way to balance my work life with my love life. I need, I want both. I don't want just one or the other. I want both. And um, this is a great time to just make a new plan for the next year to come. And from that point going forward, forward. It's just, uh, uh, I mean, overall 2018 looks promising to me. It looks like you have a lot of good things and opportunities, of course, uh, to make those things happen. Whatever it is, you have to, especially if you're focusing on your career, business, whatever, you have to really focus on your plan, your projects, and you really have to lay out a plan for yourself and follow your plan. You listen to your instincts because the magician has good instincts. Intuition. Listen to your intuition and follow that along the way as well as incorporating all of the practical areas too. And um, But I do feel that a number of you at this time are going to be having relationships solidify. That's what I feel like. So even if maybe you weren't giving all the attention to the relationship area of your life as you could have during the year, I'm getting a sense of some of you really um, feeling like you do have the right partner for yourselves by the end of the year, that you're in a solid relationship. So um, possibly I'm even tuning into marriages and things like that, I think. So there, there's a lot, a lot of potential here all together. So for the year, uh, the overview does look very positive. And then also what I want to do is pull, I'm going to pull one card from Doreen Virtue's Fairy Tarot cards for the year, for one message for the year. Okay, so I need the message for Taurus for 2018. Let me shuffle these a bit. Taurus 2018. If you like my videos, be sure and subscribe. Feel free to leave messages, comments, and if anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. Also, be on the lookout for your um, for the videos that will be coming out for your rising sign, your moon sign, to see if something resonates with you in either of those. So just be checking for them as they become available. And uh, yeah, if you do subscribe to my channel, then you'll get notifications when new videos are posted also. Okay, so one card. I need one card for Taurus for 2018. And pretty soon I'll be working on the uh, February videos. I didn't get around to doing the January ones, so I'm going to start with the February um, videos for each sign pretty soon. So you can be on the lookout for those. But I want to get through all these annual ones first. Oh, wait. This card's the one here. Okay. Let's see. So for this one, we have King of Autumn. Compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, charismatic and gifted. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. 
everything going your way, a good person or company to work for. I'm feeling for you, Taurus, for some of you, this card represents you in 2018. Okay, compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, gifted, for and being assertive. Be assertive. Everything's going your way. Uh, a good person or company to work for. So for some of you in your career, if you change jobs, whatever, or starting your own business or having a business of your own, I I'm just feeling the essence of this card for a lot of you, Taurus. Um, this year. And then for others of you, this might have to do with someone that's going to be in your life in a, a personal relationship for love and romance that I feel for some of you, this is um, a partner, a mate for some of you, this type of a person as King of Autumn. Okay, now I'm going to pull one card from Nature's Whispers deck. And Nature's Whispers is by Angela Hartfield, the artwork by Josephine Wall. So I'm going to pull one card from that one. And the previous deck, oh, the very first deck I used, I don't even think I mentioned that. That was the Gilded Tarot by Shiro Marchetti. And then for the, um, the annual overview, and then that the one I just showed you was Fairy Tarot Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And now this is Nature's Whispers by Angela Hartfield, artwork by Josephine Wall. I love these cards. They don't show up on, the, on my camera as well as I would love them to because they're so intricate and so colorful and beautiful. And I don't think they really, um, this camera I have is not really doing them justice. They're just so beautiful. Okay, I need one card for Taurus for 2018. What's the message for Taurus 2018? 2018. Let's see here. Okay. I think it's this one here. Okay. It says new experiences and possibilities. Let's see, can you see that card? I don't know if you can see all the detail in it. It's just so gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, new experiences and possibilities. That's number 18. Let me look that one up in the book. Okay, Nature's Whispers, number 18. Here it is. Okay, new experiences and possibilities. Look around in nature. Notice the new beginnings, new experiences, and new choices being shown to you. They will only be evident to you if you take the time to look for these subtle messages. You are on the first steps along a new path. You are being offered a blank page. What are the first words you would like to write on it? Your possibilities are endless. You are in complete control of your life. This is a new beginning on your journey. Live in the present and trust in your own abilities. Plant your seeds and willingly venture into new territory. This really, this message totally ties in with this reading. Fantastic. Love it. Okay. And then I'm going to pull one card from Whispers of Love. This is my newest deck. Um, now, this one also is by Angela Hartfield with artwork by Josephine Wall, since I, I just love the one from Nature's Whispers, so I bought the other deck, too, Whispers of Love. Okay, so one message. What's the message for Taurus for 2018? Taurus 2018. These cards, I love them, but they're so hard for me to shuffle. They kind of stick together. Okay, Taurus 2018. I need one message. Okay, one more shuffle. Okay, this is Taurus for 2018. Okay, and I love the backs of these cards. I got to show you that too. That's gorgeous. Okay, let's see. I think it's this one here. Let's see. Oh, darn it. They stick. Okay. Wait, is this two or one? 
Okay, I think I got one card here. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see this very well. Can you see it? Okay, and let me look up this one. What number is it? Where's the number? Oh, number 10. Number 10? 10. That is number 10. Okay. All right, let me find number 10, Whispers of Love. Oh, I wanted to show the flip side of that, too. I love the outside image of these cards. Isn't that beautiful? Heavenly. Okay, number 10. Let's find that. Okay, treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. We have a group of people in our lives that love and support us. Treasure these people, whether it is a special partner, your family, or your friends. The angels are prompting you that you need to reach out to your loved ones and make sure you show them love. I like that. I think I even said something. Didn't I say something about when I got to the magician, the end of the year, that some of you might feel you really maybe didn't focus on your um, relationships as much or something, whatever. But that's a great message, great card. Okay, and then what are we doing here? I need one card. Last one. This is going to be one card from Messages from Your Angels by Doreen Virtue. One, one of these cards. Okay, and again, what's the message for Taurus for 2018? For Taurus 2018. Let's see. Okay, and uh, and remember, if you do uh, like my videos, be sure and subscribe so you'll be notified when new videos come out. And um, be sure and leave your comments. And if anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. Since this is a general reading for a lot of people. So, okay. All right, 2018, what's the message for Taurus for 2018? Okay, let's see. And I think it's this one here. Okay, Yvonne, let's see if you can see that. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. Oh, I love that. We have many, many beautiful pets in heaven from over the years. So that that's a beautiful message. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. Well, I love that. For any of you who have had your furry loved ones or um, any other kind of um, loved ones from the animal or animal world, animal kingdom, who have passed on and gone um, to heaven, that's a beautiful message. And for your and even for the ones that's talking about your your creatures on Earth also, so it's a wonderful message for a lot of people. Okay, so uh, that's it for you, Taurus, for 2018 for your overview of the year, and um, uh, pretty be on the lookout, like I said, for your um, rising sign, moon sign. Be checking to see as those come available. And then pretty soon I'll be doing the ones for February also. So thank you for, for watching my video. Have a great month. Have a great new year. And um, we'll talk again soon. Thank you.